us through the process. How did you become an Argonaut? Well, I was currently, or before I, I came here, I was I was sitting on the couch at home in Georgia, and um, I got a, I got a phone call and the opportunity to to come up here um, from the uh, the general manager and the head coach, and they said that they really liked me and um, wanted me to to possibly come come kick and punt for them, and you know I felt like it was a, a great opportunity for me. It, it trumps sitting on the couch and, and doing nothing and. So I came up here and on Friday night, and and now here I am until otherwise, until told otherwise. Uh, th there's a lot of live bullets being thrown at me, uh, but it's nothing I can't handle, nothing I haven't handled, been able to handle before. Uh, Got to get adjusted to the rule changes a little bit, um, but overall it doesn't change my job. What I mean, rule changes stand up to you the most, or any that you're looking at that think this is going to take some time to get used to? Um, well, for punting, definitely the punting out of bounds in the air uh, before the 20-yard line. It's a 15-yard penalty, um, so being kind of careful of that because you know I'm used to being able to just try to hit the ball out of bounds, you know, 40 yards, 45 yards, wherever you are in the field. Um, so I gotta, I gotta kind of be careful when it comes to that. Um, you know, the fact that guys can move around pre-snap. You know, I'm used to everything kind of being a little still and. Everything just being calm until the ball snapped. Then that's when live bullets fly. Played, I think, all you know, all four years at Tennessee. I mean, my last year, you know, we averaged like 98,000 fans a game, and I've played in some of the big, biggest stadiums in college football and the SEC and different places like that. Loud noise, hostile environments, pressure situations. Um, I, I'm, a, I'm a pretty accustomed to it, um, you know. But every place is different, you know. It doesn't matter if there's 25,000 people or there's 125,000 people. I mean, if it's loud, it's loud. If it's, you know, windy, it's windy. You know, a hostile environment is a hostile environment. So it'll be something I'll get used to, but I'm not, I don't worry about what's going on around me. I just kind of focus on what I have to do and my task at hand. Have you gotten to speak with Swayze Waters just yet? Because he's the CFL's most outstanding special teams player last year, and it must be great having him uh, to help guide you and introduce you to the CFL. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, you know, Swayze's uh, locker is right next to mine. Uh, so when I first got here, he, inter he introduced himself, and uh, he's been a great mentor for me so far for the past couple days. Someone who's kind of got me acclimated to the rules, to what's expected of me, um, things like that, giving me his advice on coming from, I mean, he came from the States as well, coming up here. So that was um, really helpful. And he still continues to help me every single day. Um, you know, we all know that Swayze is a heck of a, a guy, a, you know, a heck of a football player, um, you know, so I got to I got to do everything I can to help this team kind of for the next seven games, you know, or however long it is uh, to uh, to win some games and and go from there.